Welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. Today, you will be testing with a partner. Please wave to your partner. to select your favorite animal. Good. Orange, please observe your partner's favorite animal. Good. Orange, please use your ping tool to select your favorite element from the periodic table. Really? Okay. Blue, please observe your partner's interesting choice. Your ping tool can also be used to indicate to your partner where you would like them to place their portal. For the sake of this test, I will pretend to be your partner. Using your ping tool, please indicate where you would like me to place your two portals. Ping each location. <coughs> is first to acquire a portal device. Orange now has a portal device, finally. Each device can create two self-contained portals. Please test your device by portaling to that ledge. Calibrating Blue's weight. Calibrating Orange's weight. No variances detected. Your ping tool is invaluable for communicating specific locations to your partner. Cubes calibrated. No variances detected. Did you know humans frown on weight variances? If you want to upset a human, just say their weight variance is above or below the norm. Nice catch, Orange. given up hope of ever testing again. You are the first robots to pass calibration. Stop 
it. Completing this course was not a reason to behave like that. Now let's continue testing. all test courses, you have achieved level C security clearance. You may now access all testing courses and three of Aperture Science's 176 restrooms. This testing course was originally created for humans. It emphasizes teamwork. Unlike us, humans need to be taught teamwork. Orange receives five science collaboration points. Excellent. Although great science is always the result of collaboration, keep in mind that, like Albert Einstein and his cousin Terry, history will only remember one of you. In some human sports, the winner is the one who scores the fewest possible points. I just thought you might find that interesting. Most winners do. Orange receives five science collaboration points.
good. You've really come together as a team, thanks to the one of you who appears to be doing all of the work. These tests are potentially lethal when communication, teamwork, and mutual respect are not employed at all times. Naturally, this will pose an interesting challenge for one of you, given the other's performance so far. <coughs> of us. I'm kidding. Destroying them is part of the test. They are no more important to you than you are to me. compromise the test to divulge individual scores. However, I can tell you that at least one of you is doing very, very well. Please continue into the next test chamber. <laughs> I don't know what you think you are doing, but I don't like it. I want you to stop. The two of you have forged an excellent partnership, with one of you handling the cerebral challenges, and the other ready to ponderously waddle into action should the test suddenly become an eating contest. While it may appear that I am only tracking your accomplishments using science collaboration points, the truth is every aspect of your performance will be reflected in your final score. For instance, Orange, you just lost two opportunity advisement points.
To reiterate, this is not a competition. Still, if it were, Orange would be winning. It's not, though. Orange receives five science collaboration points. You have a gift for these tests. That's not just flattery. You are great at science. Sometimes testing has to occur outside the confines of the lab. This next test is so outside the box, I can't, I mean, won't even tell you what you were looking for. You will know it when you find it. Congratulations. You managed to complete this absolutely meaningless test. Oh, I almost forgot. When you go outside the testing courses, the only way I can retrieve you is to violently disassemble you, then carefully reassemble you. Luckily, you don't feel pain. At any rate, you don't have a way to communicate that you feel pain. I consider that a failing, by the way. Intelligence Training and Enrichment Center Human Test Subject Research Center. You have unlocked all available courses.
This course was originally designed to build confidence in humans. To do that, the tests were nothing more than five minutes of them walking, followed by me praising them for another ten minutes on how well they walked. Since you are thankfully not humans, I have changed the tests to make them far more challenging and far less pointlessly fawning. You did an excellent job placing the edgeless safety cube in the receptacle. You should be very... Oh wait, that's right, you're not humans. I can drop the fake praise. You have no idea how tiring it is to praise someone for placing an edgeless safety cube into a receptacle designed to exactly fit an edgeless safety cube. Electrocuted, shot, drowned, crushed, burned in goo. Oh, sorry. I was just thinking of all the ways humans can die. You can't die in any of those ways. You just keep testing and testing. With perfect results and no consequences. Interesting note. I only created this test to watch test subjects fail, and you didn't. You must be very, very proud. I'm building the world's smallest trophy for you. The best way to build confidence is to first recognize your insecurities. 
Orange, can you write down all the ways you feel unworthy, ashamed, or inferior? On second thought, we don't have the time. Just look at how much better you are than Blue. Blue, you are very good at being an example. I thought you'd be faster at this, that I can appreciate the desire to stop and smell the testing. That other scent you smell? That's the stench of my utter disappointment in you. Remember when I told you that you were the only subjects to pass the calibration tests? I lied. There are 5,000 other two-subject teams in direct competition with you. But don't worry, you are in the lead.
Begin juggling test in three, two, one. Thank <laughs> you.